In this problem, we're told a delivery truck travels 28 blocks north, 16 blocks east, and 26 blocks south. What is its final displacement from the origin? And then we're told to assume the blocks are equal length. So let's draw a diagram of what's going on here. So we have this car, and we know that it's going to travel 28 blocks north. So this direction is going to be north, east, south, west. And so it's going to go 28 blocks in this direction. I'm just going to label blocks as B. So this is going to be 28B. And then it goes 16 blocks e uh, east. So if this is north, this is going to be east. So it's going to go 16 blocks in this direction. So 16B. And then we know it's going to go 26 blocks south. So if we draw this, it's going to be a little bit shorter than this. So this is going to be 26 blocks. And so the car is going to end up here. And so what we're trying to find is the displacement of the car. So if the car starts here, ends here, its displacement is going to be this length right here. And so what we want to do is form a triangle, and that's how we're going to solve our problem. So if this is the length we're trying to find, if we're able to find this length right here, and this length right here, we'll be able to find this length. So what is going to be this length and this length? So let's just draw the triangle that represents this. So if this is going to be this line right here, and we draw the bottom and the top, so what is this length going to be? So if the car starts here, let's imagine it's zero, and it travels 16 blocks this way, and then it ends here. This length right here is going to be the same as this length, so 16. And then we know this length right here, this length right here is going to be, so if this is 28, it travels 28 blocks up and then 26 down. If we subtract 26 from 28, it's going to be 2. So the difference here is going to be 2. So it goes 16 this way and then 2 up. And when you do vectors like this, what you want to do is label the ones on the x-axis, so the one that travels this way with an i like this, and then this one with a J. And so, now that we've got it like this, what we're trying to do is solve for this length right here. So how do we do that? Well, what you should recognize is that we can use the Pythagorean theorem to find this length here. So you should know that A squared plus B squared equals C squared. And so that's what we're going to use to solve this. And so, so this is A, this is B, and this is C. So we're trying to solve for C. So 16 squared plus 2 squared is equal to c squared. And just to get c, we're going to square root both sides, right? So c is going to be equal to the square root of this. So c equals the square root. And so 16 squared plus 2 squared is going to be 256. And so c equals 256. And then if you plug this in your calculator, you're going to get that c equals 16.1245. And so I'm just going to round to the tenths place. So just 16.1. And then this is uh, blocks, right? So 16.1 blocks. That's going to be this length right here. So the displacement is 16.1 blocks. But what we need to find, too, is the direction. So all we did was get the magnitude. Now we have to find the direction. And so the way we find the direction is by we need to find this angle. So that's what we're trying to solve for. And so if we know this length right here and this length right here, we can say that the tangent of this angle, let's call it x, is going to be equal to, so we know tangent is uh, opposite over adjacent, so it's going to be 2 over 16. So we know the tangent of x is equal to 2 over 16. So if we want to get x, we can just take the arc tangent. So the arc tangent uh, of 2 over 16 is going to be equal to x. And so if you go ahead and do this, the arc tangent of 2 over 16, is going to be 17.125. And so I'm just going to round to the nearest degree. So just to 7, so a whole degree. So it's going to be 7 degrees. And you're not done yet, though. So you get 7 degrees, but we need to explain the direction that this goes in. So keep in mind that this is north and this is east. So we're going 7 degrees up from east. So it's going to be 7 degrees north of east because it's going north of east, right? So 7 degrees north of east. And so... We write 7 degrees north of east. And so these right here, 16.1 blocks and 7 degrees north of east are going to be your answers.